Olá, I am a Portuguese person. Because anyone could make this bold claim nowadays, here is some proof. This is a photo of my birth certificate. These are some pastéis de nata that look exactly like lots of others I personally ate. And this is my favorite football player. Now that there is no more doubt, let's get to the point. You probably found a video entitled European Portuguese for Beginners because you are aware that there is a specific variant of the Portuguese language that is spoken in Europe, more specifically in a country called Portugal, and you wish to learn it for some reason, which qualifies you as a beginner. This probably won't be the first video you have watched about European Portuguese, because I am aware of my rating in YouTube's algorithm. But even so, I would like to tell you some things about my language that could help you begin your journey to fluency. You can learn Portuguese. Actually, anyone can and lots of people do. The difficulty of learning a specific language always depends on what languages you already know, and that also applies to Portuguese. If you already know Spanish or even French or Italian, things may be easier because all these languages belong to the same family as Portuguese. Spanish would be the most obvious gateway language, but it can also cause problems of its own, because Portuguese and Spanish are so close, you may end up mixing them up and speaking a messy, unofficial hybrid we call Portunhol, combination of Portuguese and Espanhol. You don't want that. If you're coming from English, you are not alone. Learning Portuguese can be particularly tricky for native speakers of English without knowledge of other languages, at least at first. This happens for several reasons. For example, in English, words have no gender, while in Portuguese, all nouns and adjectives are either masculine or feminine. This applies also to names of things that don't have a gender of its own, like a chair, feminine, a shoe, masculine, a spoon, feminine, or a stapler, masculine. Another difficulty is that verb tenses in English tend to be simpler than in Portuguese. Here's an example. This is the verb to be in all its present forms in English. And these are all the present forms of the verb to be in Portuguese. Both of them. Yes, there are two. If you already know Brazilian Portuguese, you're all set. Unlike what you may have heard, Brazilian Portuguese is just the name of the variant of Portuguese spoken in Brazil. There are many pronunciation differences and several differences in vocabulary and sentence structure that may require some effort to get used to. But it's not that different from what you will find in American English and UK English. And no, people in Portugal won't be offended if you speak Portuguese with a Brazilian accent and everyone will understand you. If you already speak Spanish, you should still learn Portuguese. Like I said before, Portuguese and Spanish are close enough to make learning one easier when you know the other. But they are still separate languages and, although you will probably be understood if you speak Spanish in Portugal, you are still speaking to people in a country using another country's language. That maybe they understand, but can't speak properly. If you have to do that, why not just speak English instead? Which brings us to the next item. You don't really need to learn Portuguese. Most people under 50 in Portugal will speak at least some English and everyone who works in the tourist industry is required to speak it. This means that if you hate language learning or if you have no time to learn another language, you don't need to speak Portuguese to get around in Portugal and have a wonderful time. But if you can learn it, the locals will appreciate it and you'll understand what people are saying about you in the next table, except if they are Norwegian. I can't help you with that. Any language learning method that works for you is valid. There are no right methods and wrong methods. Well, if one method promises to teach you Portuguese with zero effort in a time period short enough to sound suspicious, that's probably not the method for you or anyone else. Apart from the obvious scams, 
My advice would be trying several approaches and seeing what works best for you, whether it's an approach to learning that is heavier on grammar or that focuses on conversation or reading. Pick whatever fits better with the way you learn. Or, better still, combine methods and have the best of multiple worlds. You can go to italki, for example, and book a class with a European Portuguese teacher, like myself, link in the description. And there are plenty of YouTube channels with videos about learning European Portuguese. Did you know that? I could even recommend you one like, uh, let's see if I can think of something. Um, What's the name of that channel? Uh, uses lots of orange. The guy alternates South European charm with possible lunacy. Ah, of course, it's this channel right here. And the good place to start with will be the recommended video you should see right now on your screen and is also accessible through the link on this video's description. Happy learning! Até breve! Por favor, subscrevam o canal, façam um like e ajudem-me a alimentar este ornitorrinco. Também dou aulas no italki e vendo material para aprender português. Os links estão na descrição. Não querem que o bicho passe fome, pois não?